OK, it's time to meet the man they call the Hoff, a TV icon since the 80s. He's raced his faithful kit into the hearts of millions of women on Knight Rider. He also gave us one of the world's most watched TV shows ever with Baywatch. And this Saturday, he's making a welcome return to our screens as a judge on Britain's Got Talent. Blimey. Please welcome David Hasselhoff. <laughs> There's no men here. Uh, no! There's a couple. There's a few. There's a few. Are you all loose women? Oh, there's a man. How'd you get in here? Hello, How ladies. are you in the company I'm of loose fantastic. ladies? I'm fantastic. I feel okay. I've done... I grew up with a lot of ladies in my life. I have four sisters, two daughters, and an agent who's gay. <laughs> <laughs> now, we saw uh, some clips from Saturday Night Show uh, just there. Yeah. Um, how, how have you found the levels of talent available here in Britain? Pretty wacky. You guys have been talking about, <laughs> about laughter a lot. It's pretty funny, you know. Um, we have a lot of kids this year that are fantastic. In fact, the best comedian that we have is a little boy. And unbelievable. And um, uh, the youth that we have in the show is amazing. We have a lot, a lot of dancing dogs. Um, was that was that dog supposed to be dancing just then that yeah, we saw? Synchronized you know, dog dancing. they were uh, they were. Are you talking about Liverpool? They were actually from Liverpool. That way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we got a good laugh out of that. She was terrific. Yeah. How did you find the crowds up in Liverpool? Were they tough? I didn't understand them. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I speak posh. Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling. You know, they, actually, Liverpool was the best talent. I had the most fun. You know, because, you know, I'm, I'm still kind of a little bit of a tourist from here. So I said, I'm going to walk around Liverpool after the show. And it was like, God, it's very strange. All these, it's freezing outside. And all these girls are going into clubs wearing shorts that are like here. Yeah, I saw like massive amount of legs. And I'm going, what are they? They're going into clubs. It looked like they were younger than my daughter. Um, it's pretty wild. Liverpool is great, but we got a lot of talent in Liverpool. Now, when, like, you're, when you're watching the act, do you ever feel bad laughing at them? No, you should do. No, you know, sometimes I, I'm pretty good. We do. I'm pr you, you mean it, being no, how bad laugh they at are? Them. No, we don't feel bad. We just laugh at them. Yeah. <laughs> That's the point. You but know. you're right, right in front of them and they're looking at you for approval. And if you're sitting there with a face on, like Amanda just had there, no. and you've got the face. I, I start laughing. I you mean, do. yeah, I can't help it, you know, because it's, uh, you know, it's, it's such a. It's such a great platform. I mean, my God, we never had that growing mm, up. To yeah. be actually, to get on a stage, come from singing in the shower, or, you know, with your mom in the kitchen, to a worldwide stage and actually get seen, mm. I, I, I cherish that moment. So if somebody comes on and they, have not, and they, they don't take advantage of it, they go, you know, they kind of walk on like, hey, how you doing? I go, what are you doing, man? Mm. This is a fantastic opportunity. Take advantage of yeah, it, you know? Yeah. Mm. Do you but find, just, um, because you're now, you're sitting in, of course, the newly vacant Simon Cowell seat. Yes. Has that made you a harsh judge? More practical a little bit, you know, because I'm trying to bring a little bit of sense to it mm. because I've been around the block in America, you know, and, you know, I've been on stage in the West End and, uh, and uh, Broadway and, I've, and I've, you know, I've been to where I've been unemployed mm -hmm. and had some rough times in my life, so I know what it takes to stay there. Do you get harsher as the day goes on and the more kind of rubbish you see and after five hours you just think, oh, get off the stage! <laughs> more impatient you get. Oh, I don't if you see me hitting that buzzer, if you see me hitting that buzzer by the end of the day, you'll know I'm hungry. Yeah, yeah. When I'm hungry, I'm heavy on the buzzer. I'm like this, go, oh, God, what, what are we getting out of here? Because you're, you're new to our... Used to, you know, I mean, this is not the first time, because I I remember catching you in America, yeah. and you were terribly funny, and yeah, it was wonderful. Another side of you came out. Well, you know what, I, I try to let people get motivated by it, but, you know, this is not the end, this is the beginning. Look at how far you got. Mm. Look at this, my gosh, take it and use it, you know? Um, but it's really been fun because sometimes I don't have, you know, we're talking about laughter. I have no idea what they're saying. You know, I mean, there was one, <laughs> there was one comedian who came on. I think he might even win the competition. I said, "You're terrific. I have no idea what you're saying, but you're really funny." <laughs> but, his, but, he, but he was charming. He was good looking. He was humble. He came to play, and the audience loved him. And you'll see him, and you'll you'll know what I'm talking about. So I said, to Amanda. 
Was he funny? <laughs> <laughs> yes. OK, you're going through. You've worked with Brits um, over in the States. When you were judging America's Got Talent, you worked with um, Piers and, um, and um, Sharon Osbourne. Yeah. So did they give you an insight into kind of British humour and, 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 and British talent? Yeah, you know, they, because... Yeah, it was kind of like, you know, they would say things that would absolutely shock me that would, I would never say to anybody in America, like, you know, peers would try to separate families and go, you know, you were really good, but, you know, you should leave your dad at home. Mm -hmm. And the little kid would cry, and he'd go, hey, he's crying, hey. <laughs> and I'd go, wow, that's so weird, you know? And then Sharon was always trying to make some sense of it, because she was always, hello, I'm Sharon, let me make some sense of it. And then uh, <laughs> I'd just go, what? This is America's Got Talent. Where are you from? You know? But now I'm over here, I'm having a blast, mm -hmm. because I really... You know what I noticed is that the, the audiences really want to laugh. They come to play. Mm -hmm. And if they don't like you, man, they boo you. Mm -hmm. And if they love you, they freaking love you, you know? Mm -hmm. And everybody hates another city. It's like Birmingham doesn't like Cardiff, Cardiff doesn't like uh, Glasgow, Glasgow doesn't like Liverpool. Surely it's the same in the States, state to state. No, so that not... that sense of competition. Not, oh, not, come on. Not as much. Oh, they clap at anything in America. They do. What? <laughs> <laughs> well, they do <laughs> they <laughs> they do. Oh, they do. They applaud at anything. Where yeah. are you from? I'm from Wisconsin. Yeah. Ooh, you know why? <laughs> yeah. They it's do. Right. It's because they pay them. <laughs> oh, we can't even get an audience <laughs> in America. <laughs> like, okay, applause. Yeah. Okay, we're paying you. Hey. <laughs> hey, um, now that you're here, can we can we tap into your male perspective? Because there's a new My male perspective? Can we? Well, I don't know. It's kind of personal. <laughs> well, according to a new survey, romance is dying because men yeah. have lost the art of wooing their partners. Yeah, no romance. <gasps> Did you hear that? Yeah. <laughs> Said a discontented no. audience member. Um, women have been reduced to buying their own flowers. Oh, no. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's bad. Are it, you a romantic? Do you know how to win? No, I'm absolutely a romantic. My daughter's 21st birthday is coming up. She's actually on a new show like this online. She has her own little view. She's only uh, 21. It's on uh, cambio.com. It's like, I'm not I'm trying to advertise that, but she just called me this morning and said she's doing it. And, she, and I said, well, who's taking care of you on your 21st birthday? She goes, well, I am. I said, you are. You are. So I said, give me your boyfriend's number, you know? <laughs> I said, hey, dude, you're supposed to be surprising her. You're supposed to have the flowers. You're supposed to set up the club. You're supposed to open the door. You're supposed to make it magic for her, and you're supposed to cherish her. And if you don't cherish her, you're out. You know, I'm big on romance. Well, good you know, big. Good for you. Big. Hey. Huh? She might not be bothered. Yeah, no. And you're, and you're interfering. <laughs> you met Carol before. You know, she said that to me. Dad is handled. No, it's not handled. I'm calling him. I'm calling him. Do you, have you got a lady that you're romancing at the moment? Ah, uh, yes. I met a little bit. And uh, we have long conversations because she's from Wales and I can't understand her. <laughs> this would be the lovely Haley, who's, who's in our studio audience. Mm. And I um, don't know what you're seeing her. <laughs> She's beautiful. No. How did you guys meet? Ah, uh, wow. Um, we met when I was doing um, an episode of Britain's Got Talent in Cardiff, but we're just starting, and then it's kind of tough because... So, so, You're at the romantic stuff. stage, well, then. Yeah, the well, beginning's very romantic. We're trying to have a romance, and the press is, like, all over her yeah. parents, and they went to her grandma's house, who's 86 years old, and... Hey, welcome know, to England. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I mean, so Wales how, is nice. How did you woo her, or did she woo you? Uh, I, I, I wooed her, Ooh. yeah. Romantic meals. Well, you know. Like Yaki da, uh, Hayley. You know, you know, yeah, well, yeah. In, in I, I was a gentleman, you know. I'm, I, I, liked, I like to just kind of say, here's where I'm at, and if you'd like, we can do this, and, but it's really up to you, and kind of like, wait, wait, and just wait. Oh. Oh, but with the, with, the, with the romance thing, though, do you mm. keep it up? Do you, you know, do you go all the way through? <laughs> <laughs> the question is, with the romance, do you keep it up? Do you get... <laughs> no, 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 Buy presents and things like that no, at the beginning of a buy, relationship. No, it, do you keep that up in, during the relationship? You know, because no. sometimes it dies out, doesn't it? And it gets does. a bit boring. No, you have to open the door. You have no, keep it up. <laughs> <laughs> no. You know what yes. Yes. You do. Yes. Well, we're oh, just getting that? started. We're just trying to go to the movies, you know, <laughs> and just have a bowl of soup, and everybody's turning <laughs> us in, and then but. 
you know, it's been really nice because I've got a chance to see the countryside and go to Wales and really, it's been a really terrific time here in Britain. But are Britain, you the type that will leave like little notes if you're going out and, you know, yeah. send flowers for no reason whatsoever except just to say... Petals on the bed? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's just a mess. Oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> It's a mess after. It is a mess after. Um, not that I know. Really? Did you do it? <laughs> so what's the quiet one? Oh, thing? yeah, OK. Mm, yes. um, now, Vicky on Facebook has emailed in to ask her, do you have any plans to remarry? No pressure. You know, I'm... I'm I, I love being married, you know, and I like... Sh I've always been, you know, no matter what they say in the press and no matter what, I've always been a one woman man I like that I like sharing my success with people and taking people around the world and it's really what you miss it's why a lot of people in show business burn out because you know it's a lonely business you go yeah. out there on the road and you're in a big gorgeous suite 10,000 people I just released my record in Germany we're in the top 20 and we went on tour you go home you shut the door <laughs> all this and what do you do mm -hmm. you know have you, and so you know I took Haley I said come, come here let me show you what I do and it's so much fun afterwards to laugh about it and sit in a restaurant and just have, you know, a Coke or a dinner and have fun and talk about all those people and the ones that jumped on stage and the little lady and, you know, and then just to do normal stuff, just mm -hmm. to be normal. I, I went to see her in Wales. That's how I wooed her. I went down to see her. Oh, you did know. you meet the family? Yeah. Oh, good man. Yeah. Well, I had to pick her up. <laughs> <laughs> and very quickly, um, this, is, this is quite a weighty question. Um, Charlotte wants to know on Twitter, uh, have you ever had your chest waxed? God, no! <laughs> Somebody waxed my eyebrows the other day. My daughter told me to do that. That was horrible. <laughs> ah! I said, that's... Uh, there's one left. Um, no, no. You can, there is a wax on, wax off online. You can actually wa wax off hair. It's the stupidest thing I've ever. I've seen that Yeah, one. I know. I know. No, no, I wouldn't do it. No. Okay. Have you it, ever... No, not no, my chest. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know... But I know I should call yeah, her yeah, out. Yeah. 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 Hey, it's been a pleasure. Um, good luck to you and good luck Thank to you. Hayley. And Check. good luck with the show. It's yes, Saturday it's night, really ITV One, Britain's Got Talent is back and so is The Hoff. It's The That's Hoff, right. everyone! Yeah. Thank you.